Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jay Phoenix Suns 2007 I'm gonna do a quick video here for you, I gotta keep it under around five, six, around 5 or 6 minutes I am going to go over a little project that I started and just a little quick background here, the reason I started this project is because I noticed that tablets all together uh, get pretty hot or warm or hot um, especially the Samsung Galaxy tablet that I bought. It was the thinnest and lightest, but yet I noticed that it got really warm, too hot when I was using it for hours on end. And just to let you know, if you only use your tablet a few minutes a day, disregard this video, it's probably not for you because you're not going to get to the point where some of us are at this point. Um, so anyways, I did notice that when I traded in my Galaxy for my Thrive, that my Thrive was also getting warm. Um, and I did not want to go through this problem again and what I notice when it gets warm it starts to bog down, it starts to slow down a little bit um, almost actually sometimes to a crawl um, so what I did is I came up with the idea I said well I'm gonna buy a laptop cooler and I bought this Targus cooler and I'm gonna use it but I noticed that it didn't exactly do what I wanted it to do and being a kind of guy that likes to turn things into projects I went ahead and did that so what I did is I pulled out the fans from this case and I took them out, okay, and what I did is I velcroed them, and actually, let me go back a little bit. What I also did here, as you can see, I dremeled out the backing, and the reason is because you pull the, the fan out, but you also want the backing, too, because, which is also hold, because you don't want to stick your finger in the fan or get it caught or break it or something, okay? Um, and as you can see here, uh, my project still allowed me to put the fans on the back and keep the case... Um, intact somewhat that way you can still use it as a stand okay so in a minute I'm gonna take it apart here so you can kinda of see the fruits of my labor but um, as you can see it's fully functional it doesn't take up a whole lot of battery that I've noticed um, everything is still running you know really smooth really fast I wanted to show you guys something here um, this has been actually turned on for quite a bit and look how quick that is I mean things run very smooth on it now that um, I have a fan installed. I'll just show you that. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? That's pretty quick. Um, one other thing I want to do while I still have it in mind. Um, this is kind of off the topic, but those of you who have been throwing this around on the websites, I wanted to tell you that yes, you can use a UHS one um, type memory card, HD, SDHC uh, memory card in the Toshiba Thrive. It will. Um, keep your applications, it will keep the rest of your stuff. Um, you can even use it as a little backup disk, as a restore disk, okay? And again, yes, you can use it, and anything below, okay? Uh, I know those of you were on Android forums, you guys were wondering if you could use these on the tablets. Yes, you can. So anyways, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the back here um, and show you what I did. So you just unvelcro that, take it right off, and then you can do with it what you want, and ta-da, there you have it. As you can see, they're fully functional. Um, they're on right now. They're on and popping. They're working. Um, and like I said, I just dremeled this right out of the original case. And again, that's so you don't get your fingers stuck in there and everything. Um, you guys don't have to get this extreme, but what I did is I actually went out and bought an additional um, Toshiba Thrive back cover. Okay, that way I could destroy it, and I still have the original black one. But what I did is I drilled a bunch of holes in it about this much of a diameter. And the reason I did that, the battery is actually huge. The reason I did that is so air gets in, air gets out. Okay, and then one main hole for each. I did the battery one just a little bit bigger. That way air gets in, air gets out. Okay. Um, you don't have to do that, but I do it because I feel like it's direct contact into the components in there, and that way, um, you know, you get the full cooling effect. Okay, again, you don't have to do that. So let's put this back on here, and um, it works really good. I've noticed that um, I can have it on for an hour or so, and no bogging, no slowing down, none of that stuff. It still works good. Um, and again, all you have to do is buy a laptop cooler. <laughs> you have to destroy a few things, and people are, might look at you and say, "Ooh, that doesn't look very good." But what it does is, like I said, it'll keep your um, tablet nice and cool. You can do this for the Samsung Galaxy too. 
Um, you can do it for any tablet, really. You just have to be willing to, you know, go as far as you want to go with it. I pretty much went all the way with it. So, and if you were to look inside of here, like I said, um, you would see again that there's holes on the actual back cover. Don't Dremel where there's ribbons or, or different electronics that are sticking out because you don't want to get dust particles and stuff in there. But, all right, guys, and then there's my Dremel tools that I used. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you want to... You know, ask me anything, leave it in the comments section. Really don't subscribe because I'm really bad at getting back at people. But um, if I have a second, I'll check out your question and get back to you, okay? All right, there it goes. Again, this is Jay Phoenix Suns 2007. Thanks for watching.